Hey guys and gals, hopefully you've seen my first impressions vid of uh, BlizzCon 2011 and uh, yeah, sorry if the video is kind of bad. Yeah, I'm still new to making videos so all the little pauses and stuff, I'm sorry about that. Anyway, welcome, uh, so welcome to the first video in the series of Miss Pandaria. This will try and cover, this video I'll try and cover the continent, the zones and whatever uh, basic storyline. So basically, Pandaria was discovered during a Horde and Alliance ship battle off the coast during the Cataclysm. They saw Pandaria, the mist had been obviously hid wherever it was hiding it, been revealed by the Cataclysm, wherever. So they saw it in the obviously more pressing matters, the Horde or each other and Deathwing. So yeah, they left Pandaria alone. Um, but now they're back, that Deathwing's defeated, and they obviously, I guess, now that the war is heating up between the Alliance and Horde, they want Pandaria for its natural resources, any magical artifacts, and any power they can gain from it over the other faction. So, yeah. Pandaria is the one continent, so unlike Cataclysm, we're going back to the Wrath and Burning Crusade style levelling, which there's one giant landmass, you know, all the levelling is connected, there's no go here, teleport to here, teleport to there. You know, it's all more connected rather than spread out and just feels more flowy I guess so it allows them to while the quests may not flow so much smoothly in that way they can have more optional quests it still feels like it flows a bit more than it would have otherwise um, so there was never a focus before but now they're in the last one but now there is um, helps them to keep the theme the overall theme of the continent flowing and this time it's not Vikings or the apocalypse it is kind of Kung Fu Panda well, not Kung Fu Panda, um, in all seriousness, it is themed around Asia, China being the inspiration, uh, which leads to many awesome looking zones, which you'll see in the video. Um, I'll be showing pictures of it now. So there's six zones we know of. Uh, Jade Forest, Valley of the Four Winds, Kun Lai Summit, Vale of Etern Eternal Blossoms, Tao Long Steps, and the Pandaria Starting Zone, the Wandering Isle. So first off, we look at the, path, the Wandering Isle. Uh, we don't know too much about it yet. I mean, there is a bit of information where there is, like, a temple and stuff. Now it'll be on the screen right now, hopefully. Um, so it's where the Pandaria will start with their levying experience. And at the end of it, you'll choose your faction. And we'll go through that with more information in another video. All the Pandaria, Monk, Levin, all that kind of levying experience. We'll just focus on the zone. And yeah, it is a f turtle. A freaking turtle. Yeah, massive turtle which has like a whole landmass mountains and everything on the back yeah pretty cool and the story is the continent or that island it's like flowing towards a maelstrom after the cataclysm or something's making it go towards the maelstrom and there'll be something displayed about that in the leveling zone i guess maybe you'll find out more about it soon uh next one is the jade forest so it's a uh, like a chinese themed forest i guess um yeah with pandas and all this kind of stuff and pre maybe praying mantis i'm not sure and there's two main races that live there apart from like the Pandaren. Uh, I, think, I think they're like the Gorilla and I, I don't really know too much about it. All we know is there's two main races there that the Alliance and Horde are trying to pit against each other. So Jade Forest is like your starting zone of the expansion. Like where all level 85s go, I believe. I don't think there's two in this expansion. It's just this main one level and main zone. And the Alliance and Horde here are trying to like beat, like you know, make a beachhead, both of them. They're both washed up from fighting at sea, and they're both there trying to build their bases. And basically, they encounter two races, and the Alliance choose one, the Horde choose another, and they're trying to get those races to ally with them and fight the other indigenous race, wiping each other out so that the Alliance and Horde, like, there's less people between them. Maybe, like, make one race attack the Alliance, one race attack the Horde to weaken, the, you know, weaken all possible enemies so they can make controlling the zone easier. Then you have the Valley of the Four Winds. This is a farmland zone. Um... And the main storyline, I guess, of it is like the harvest is in jeopardy. It's where all the major farming of the continent is. All the Pandaren live, you know, they're all the farmers live there. So they're, you know, grow all the food for everyone. And apparently it's in jeopardy, I guess, maybe some sort of disease or the enemy are burning it all or something. And Pandaria, they're basically getting, like, depressed and lonely. So, uh, yeah, you know, you know, they're getting depressed, lazy, not lonely, sorry. You know, something's happening to them which makes them let, not want to fight off the invaders or do something about it. So the ones, the couple that say, or the group that are able to do something about it, because there's not enough of them, they can't really do anything about it. So I guess they enlist the Horde to try and help you with them. Oh, and yeah, one big thing for Warcraft 3 players, this is where you finally get to see Shen Stormstout in a game. 
and you actually help him. Yeah, he needs your help to uh, kick people out of his brewery. Uh, that's one of the dungeons. We'll focus on dungeons and raids in another video. Um, next landmass is Kunlai Summit. Uh, this is where like they have the secret order of pandas that are like training, and they're basically like the elite panda clan that go around defeating all the enemies of the panda. And they've imprisoned a few of their bad guys in their temple over the years, and something's let them out. So uh, this zone is where like you're uh, fighting the things that are getting out of the temple. Maybe that's all on dungeons. But they also um, they've been invaded. The mountain, this like mountain range, is uh, being invaded by from the north, from the Zandalari trolls, and from like the south, some or from other areas, some uh, mercenaries, bandits. So your uh, enlisted alliance and horde enlisted to help beat back the trolls and stuff. So you wonder why the trolls are there. Maybe they're trying to build a new troll empire, that kind of stuff. So we'll find out more about the trolls, especially in this expansion. So every expansion so far is built upon, I guess, the trolls in some way. So, you know, we'll get to see more and maybe, ooh, the main force that suddenly made Zandalari go from helping us in classic to evil. So we'll find out more, a bit more about that, hopefully. You know, advancement of the story and whatever, which is all a good thing. Um, the next landmass or th next zone is uh, Tau Long Steps. Uh, it's where the Mantid, the like Mantis kind of people, but they're called the Mantid, uh, live. live, And it's been behind a wall for like 10,000 years. And every 10,000 years they come out and attack the Pandaren. So, you know, there's got that cycle they got used to. Uh, but it's been, you know, it's several hundred years until they're meant to be attacking but recently they've broken out the wall and started attacking everyone and the Pandaren aren't ready and this is actually a bigger attack than ever before and so you're sent through to the zone not only to put them down but find out why they're attacking find out why there's like such a massive rush to attack maybe not just this time but in the past and you go there and you defeat their lords and a lot of stuff so there could be a lot of good raids there a lot of good dungeons and we know every zone's got a dungeon so we get to find out about what's there uh, so you're sent in there to help Vicious, you know, you need to find out what's going on there. And interesting to note, Tao Long, very similar to, uh, if not exactly the same, as the enemy from the Evil Jaguar or something, from the original Kung Fu Panda. So maybe, you know, the, the inspiration. So the game has seemed to draw inspiration from real world. You know, there's real world references. So there's, you know, those joke references. So maybe it's based something based on that. Maybe you will see a reference to Poe and uh, Jack Black in the game. Who knows? Um, although Jack, they've confirmed Jack Black won't be doing any voicing. They won't want him for any voicing. So that's a shame. They could have had him for a couple of comical like NPCs that help you do stuff. It would have been fun to see Poe in like a dungeon, like you're helping him, or in one of the challenge modes. And I'll talk about them in another thing. But yeah. Um, and then our final zone is the Vale of Eternal Blossom. This is where the Pandaren like ruling society are, uh, like you know the seat of power, you know wherever they originate from, I guess. Uh, it's been hidden and locked away, even from like the rest of the people on the island, by the looks of it. You know, no one's been there for ages, apart from the few ruling elite and the couple that are allowed to go, I guess. And it's said to have uh, mystical waters, so all like the bad guys that are trying to come around everywhere are heading hope for this to try and take over the, uh, you know, the power to get hold of the magical water and all the power and the magic there. And I guess maybe the Naga, you know, you may, we may see things like Naga and whatever, Queen Ashara, who wants all the power for the old gods. You know, maybe she'll turn up at some point. I have no idea who, apart from Pandaren, go there and who the bad guys there are. Um, we'll cover bad guys in another video again. All the kind of story, but this is just like the continent. Um, then we've got, that's yeah, that's it. All the zones have just been briefly covered there in this short video. Uh, there's a lot of variety, a lot of beautiful scenery from their basic video clips they've given off and the main scenic and theme is obviously china and beautiful aesthetics of it ancient china especially um i mean the only problem i have at the moment is with the zones is that there isn't any information on our pvp zone like with the grasp or tobrad and as much as i hate the free giving of loot it was quite fun to have somewhere to go in P world pvp so Obviously, they're bringing back world bosses uh, that'll be covered in dungeons or raids and stuff. So maybe there'll be world PvP around those bits, you know, like stopping the other faction, killing the boss, and then killing them when you've killed kill the boss after you've killed them, maybe, while he's low on health. Tag him so he stays at low health. Who knows? It'll be interesting to have to see if that work, how that works. Um, so thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned to the next in the series. Uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.